the grace of the moon. This is my path. My understanding was your line could scarce survive beyond the reaches of the underworld. Yet there you are, traipsing about as though not bound by your father's fate. How can this be? Desolation. <laughs> again for now oh, this again The air up there did not sit well with me at all. Ah, you're here. What troubles you, Melinoi? Your brow is furrowed, not with fierceness, but with doubt. The one emotion we cannot afford. Oh, headmistress, it's just... I'm struggling to muster the rage I should feel. I'm tasked with slaying a titan I do not even know. To avenge a family I cannot remember. Your feelings never lie to you. Tis their origins that may deceive. You feel no rage? Then you are in control. Tell me, do you question the need to complete our task? No, Headmistress. Treachery against the House of Hades cannot go unpunished. Just so. Center yourself on that. You keep heading up when you ought to be heading down toward your objective. Forget about the mountain, not your fight. My family on Olympus is under assault by the legions of Kronos, and it's not my fight? No. He's down below, all comfy on your father's throne, and you don't have anything to worry about besides him. Sure I don't. <sighs> Hey, where'd Hecuba and Garly scamper off to? I'd ask Headmistress, but she doesn't like it when I show even the slightest concern for her familiars. They're fine, Malinui. Well, they probably are fine. Each on a little scouting expedition at my own behest, under the auspices of the Good Witch, of course. The Hound goes one way, the Polecat another. Those little scouting expeditions always seem to last a while. I'll have to keep an eye out for them, then. Where they're going, they shall appreciate seeing a friendly face. Stay strong, my friends. That, my disciples, is the true meaning of life. Remember it well.
How have you lately fared against the lurkers and the serpents all that way down in the watery depths? Knowing of them and squaring off against them are two very different things. They're significantly stronger than the lost souls lingering around here. They have no sense of fear at all, attacking without any hesitation. They're basically just walking fish, young one. Not much for conversating, but they'll stick you with a trident just fine. Don't you let them. I won't. Once more. No pressure. Athena knows what. His assaults on Olympus always fail, even if they've kept us occupied. What's his next move? can use this. He must have had an excess of those golden coins that Kronos strewed across the land. To tempt the greediest of mortals, I suppose. Or the poorest, not for me to judge. A boon for another. Until we meet again.
some of my life essence before letting me in. Ugh, fine. It's only blood. Where in the... Who in the... What sort of boon is this, in such a place? Well, in the name of Hades, Olympus, are you there? Olympus cannot hear you, Spawn of Hades, but I can. And I have for you a proposition. Assist with a pondry of mine and benefit through your response. Almighty Chaos, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. What sort of quandary would concern the origin of all existence? And how do I fit in? Time shall tell. But at present, I have inferred that your response, in essence, was affirmative. Thus, we are newly formed arrangement for the most interesting. Accept my mark and go. And later, I shall open the abyss for you again. to live with the side effect for now. Just in time. Fates must be smiling on you as I'm about to do all the work. yourself useful. Focus on yourself. <laughs> the evil eye I gave to you. How sweet. Make your enemies regret messing with you. I'm certain our foes will get what's coming. This eye, though, it almost looks alive. Not using it to spy on me, are you? Nah. See enough of you as it is. Now get out of here before that eye does anything to me.
into the purse. You can sense it, can't you, my lord? The mark of primordial chaos. It seems I have another patron from the ranks of the Chthonic gods. Suffered injuries, Melenoe. You know that I can cure them for you, and you know that I shall not. Not here. It brings me no pleasure. My injuries are teachings, headmistress. I could have been more careful getting here. Now I face the consequence. Correct. Stand tall and fight me then. Use well your last remaining strength. Mistress. The headmistress got me again, Freynos, but I won't back down. Hey, uh, Moonlight guide us and all. I'm staying right here. Hey, the head wedge isn't busting your chops too bad, is she? What with you coming back here pretty often lately and all. I know headmistress can be very demanding. I'm sure she hopes I would have encountered more success by now, but she's been nothing but patient. Really? Well, I hope that sticks. <laughs> Ordering this? Return to it. Last night, Headmistress, I traversed a gate that led me to the depths of chaos, where I met its host. I've heard so much from you of Nyx, yet somehow I never expected to meet her mother and father. Of all creation, not just her. An audience with primordial chaos? <laughs> I didn't entirely expect it then. Although, given that Nyx herself has not been seen since Kronos took the House of Hades, I am unsurprised. There is no fury like that of a parent bereft of their child. Does Chaos seem an ally to us, then? I believe so. Well, thank you, Nyx, for that. Odysseus on leave. Don't worry, you didn't miss much while you were out. A lot of standing around, chanting prayers for your victory and protection. How'd those work out for you, by the way? Fine, thanks. 
And your own lack of support is a more significant motivator than you realize. You know all about lack of support. Grave first activated. Hold everybody. Silver sister on deck. Observe how patient my disciples are, studying your every move. If ever you're inclined to give them a demonstration of your prowess, or just want to blow off some steam, do not hesitate to wail upon me. Wail upon, sir? Into Erebus. I will not fail. I draw you down, O Moon. Lend me your light. If the might of Olympus were sufficient, the gods would have already put an end to their predicament. Time itself is against us, yet this is precisely the time for which we Silver Sisters have prepared. Behold. Moon water. Please accept this gift. Impressive as always. Titan's fault. of the infinite abyss lies infinite possibility the limitless and unseen building blocks of all that has ever been conceived and all that shall ever be it's really quite a lot about the surface, about how I can survive up there. I know this goes against the Fates' designs, but Olympus needs me. And to achieve my task, I need them. I see. As you may know, I am uninterested in the Fates having undue influence. Perhaps you may find a catalyst here for this incantation, whether they like it or not. This can grow into exactly what I need.
is near. Silva. showed up where you reside while that bodes ill for you and perhaps for us all at least he's quite the looker isn't he my heart that gloom a shadow spiller You should have seen it, dearie, when we brought old Kronos down. Took six of us at least, but we got him. Little wonder he's all sore about it still. We'll just have to dispose of him more thoroughly. Cremation, mayhaps. This millennium continues undeterred. What do you want? Got here well before you did. Cleaned up too. Makes you mad, I know. Don't hold back. Let's see how strong you really are. I don't want to fight you, Nemesis. I don't even want to speak with you right now. I'm not asking you to fight me. Asking you to hit me. See if you can even make me budge. It'll be worth your while. Let me have it. Something changed about my chaos boon. Here's the gold. I did encounter her, my lord, and I thank the fate Selene's light is visible in Erebus, for I know she cannot shine much farther past the edge of this realm. And you as well. Her foes are nowhere to be found. Some silver.
some of Lord Charon's wares. eliminated. Lord Charon set up shop. She awaits. I sensed your presence. Headmistress, I'm concerned Kronos may find us. I first encountered him not far beyond these woods. There are so many passageways to Erebus, it is exceedingly unlikely he shall find the way. You face a greater risk than that right now. She's taught me to be stronger than this. I'll prove it to her yet. Cisco. I have to search the depths of chaos for this. Welcome to the crossroads, Shade. A moment, Goddess. With your Olympus dwelling relatives assisting you, I've half a mind to ask you to let them know I'm on your side, except not all of them love me. What? But you're the great tactician, Odysseus. Even the gods were impressed with your machinations in your glory days. Well, Lady Athena and others favored me, it's true. But your uncle Poseidon, well, I got on his bad side, I believe. Now, maybe he's let it go after all this time, but that's a risk I'm not prepared to take. So keep quiet about me, would you? I hear you.
vengeance for your family awaits you far below. I'm certain they would be proud of what you have become. Bear them in your heart when you strike. Headmistress, I'll bear them in my heart, but I have no memory of them. How could I? You're the one who's always been there for me. Oh, don't say such things. I am not your mother, Melinui. So much she could have taught you, I cannot. Never compare us. I... Okay. My altar. Another step on the path to perfection. You getting a handle on that walking stick of yours? There's other stuff you might like better in the puddle back there if you got the silver for it. Just be sure to try it all out on me. You mustn't speak ill of Descura, sir. Noted. Be off. Headmistress, guide me. You're your getting started for this evening, aren't you, young lady? Well, let me usher you along. Harness the thunder and ensure our victory. The might of the heavens. For no more. you out hmm family or no if he's offered you his blessing he's expecting something in return he's loath to ask for favors is all i sense the elemental essences here now that's a feeling there
Apollo. We find your time, Sunshine. The Titan thinks he has us pinned, but we have the situation here under control. Just locked in a bit of a stalemate is all. and fight. How vain of Kronos to impress all of those golden coins in his own image. The promise of a new golden age, some mortals say. <laughs> that age has long since passed, and no amount of shining metal should bring it back. <laughs> spill us back. Shadow spill is tough. How could I lose to some shadow spiller like that? Oh, unacceptable. Hey. Not gonna lie, Mel. Sometimes I wish I had a big important task. Not that floating isn't one. You know my stance on this, Dora. You need to get out of this tent. You're very talented. I've never met a shade that speaks like you. Ooh, I can talk. Makes me so special. I'm sure any lowly shade could do it after being stuck here listening to you people long enough. I was fed up with just warbling. So I learned to sound it out, I guess. I'm glad you did. Moonlight guide you. And the sun bleach your bones. The Titan has your family in his thrall. 
Or worse. What has he done with them? You are required at your post, Nemesis. Or shall you take to openly defying me just as your sister does? I shudder to think what your mother would say of you two. You have no right to invoke my mother. None of this would be happening had you fulfilled your role as handmaiden and warned her an attack was imminent. Best watch your mouth or I shall seal it shut. You may continue dwelling on a past you were not witness to, or you may do what is expected of Nix's daughters. Or whatever Eris is up to. Your choice. <sighs> you have this. What was the source of your misfortune that you're back with such a scowl? Some whalers or caskets, perhaps? Oh. Shadow Spiller. Yes, a Shadow Spiller. I lost my way against one. Can hardly see a thing when they're about. I should be stronger than this. You strength enough. They merely test your nerve. Foes such as that are to be faced head on, no hesitation. Except for another girl. I am. Help me gather bones. Got all your magic back. One must at times hold fast to one's emotions and at others know to let them loose. And when you want to let them loose or try out one of them nocturnal arms, know that I'm here. This anger is for Kronos, sir. The moon waxes. Heading out. The rains return. Just getting started for the evening, are you, Sunshine? Don't know about you, but I've got a good feeling about how this is going to go. to focus. Oh. 
It's a death cap. Lord Charon. So confining, so soft, divine. I spin my threads and catch whatever comes my way. As an memory that lingers on my mind. Oh, welcome! <laughs> I don't remember anymore what it was like having two legs. Only the two. I'm hideous, I know, but I don't fall over myself like I once did. Second nature now, scurrying about. Don't speak that way. My task would go much faster if I had legs like yours, Arachne. Save your pity for another soul, my friend. Now then, I've saved some of my softest silk for you. in the well this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
to fight or get out of the way. How about a little friendly competition there, princess? Come on, then. Golden Clearly coins. Underestimated you. Quit stalling. Sooner you fail, sooner I'll get to show you how it's done. No, you don't. in close communication as best we can, even if it means imploring the services of your underworld's boatmen every so often. Electric. Do you think Arachne's going to be all right in all of this, my lord? The surface was no longer welcoming or safe for her. And now, I fear that Erebus is not much better off. You're right. She's twice as resourceful as just about anybody. Four times. Just look out for her, would you? <laughs> silken dresses always with a vivid hue i know whose handiwork they are this one quite suits you though it is unlikely to withstand the heat you just have to avoid it physically quite strong but spiritually more is to be done the altar of ashes 
there is an incantation that may make your nightly meditations at it better spent. The Consecration of Ashes. She trained relentlessly for this. Closer to Tartarus. Ugh, that's cold. Painted gold. Sure. Um, why are you glaring at me like that, little one? Uh oh. Have I offended in some way? As surface vermin flee from sinking vessels, so have underworld vermin sought darker reaches of their realm. 
in the tumult of the times. It's hard to be a rodent. Hit me then. chaos with your experiments so vast in scope what can one individual achieve the quandary you mentioned when first we met what would you have me do the soul of hades i ought to clarify i do not care for idle talk ask me no questions and respond only when prompted or when necessary in the absolute but above all do as you will No way. But then I go, wait. What's all this? What if? Remember that one, man? I know you do. Excuse me. I have one rule, and that's look, but don't touch, okay? In fact, why don't you stand a little farther back? And also tell me how come you keep showing up like this? I have some affairs to settle in the lower reaches of the underworld. Thought I'd take this rather scenic route through this chamber of yours. Oh, it isn't my chamber. I just find the waters here particularly clean and reflective. And far fewer would-be suitors than an asphodel. Remember to take a gift before you go. What's everybody queuing for? She came. I knew it. She's come back. You ready for another show, lady? We've been rehearsing our material, practicing non-stop, because one day, I'm gonna be a star. Oh, me and the gals. What do your musical ambitions have to do with unprovoked acts of violence against me? She's just heckling us, gals. Ignore her and take it from the top. Two, three, four! We are Skilla and the Servants!
eaten by Skinner. Prinos, I can't get that blasted siren song out of my head. This family, lost to you since you were born. They deserve their vengeance, and so do you. Lord Charon always delivers. Our altar can be purified. need of that. Mm. Our cauldron. Hear me, O oh Doom. Hear my voice from afar. I need beseech you wherever you are. Where are you, Lord Moros? Clear. Strictly business between you and Lord Charon, isn't it? Never seen you speak, except about his wares. At least you're providing him with gold. You might technically have a brother, but you don't know what it's like having one around. Charon doesn't like to talk. I respect that. Truly. He never seems to mind speaking with me in his way. Maybe it's because you're special. do I need? Trade you. <laughs> Farewell. Ah. See Charon's latest haul, goddess? Shipment by the riverside. All yours. And we're watching the rivers, making certain this won't be the last. Lord Charon risks aiding my efforts in such a direct way. Are we able to compensate him at all? Aye, with what gold we've gathered recently. He really means to melt down every last one of those Kronos coins we can get our hands on. Oh, yes. You're welcome here and safe. Born of chaos. Now, my blood is bound by fate, yet blood runs free. As it would spill upon the surface, I must be. It is done.
some fate fabric. <laughs> what to cast? O altar of ashes beneath which I stand. Fulfill your true purpose that I know firsthand. So mote it be. Is all this. Lucky who? Disgusting. Don't bother. Do you miss me, Trouble? Thought I'd flit on over to your neck of the woods again, since I'm still welcome here and safe and everything. What have you been up to lately? You know, not much, really, Maris. So. Well, what brings you back? For a while there, I thought maybe you really were gone for good this time. Hate to disappoint, but I just couldn't stay away. Especially not with everything we're in the middle of right now. You have been real busy lately, huh? Whatever it is you heard, please keep it confidential. Denied. <laughs> Moonlight guides you, Broker. I shall, Lord Charon. Look, I do want you to feel welcome here and safe. It's not just something that we say. All of us have lost something here. May this gift of nectar show my words are true. Made with real golden apples. Thanks, babe. You're the only one who's made a real effort to bring me into the fold. Say, why don't you take this? It isn't much, but I've been holding on to it in case I found a friend. Oh, this really isn't necessary, but, um, thanks. Hail, Strife. Huh? <laughs> My altar's all charged up. Let me see. Shut it down. A new keepsake. The bell.
the things that I have seen. Remember, you were training with an unarmed opponent here, young one. Out there, the skeletons can move. And they'd cut you to ribbons given half a chance. You won't learn to handle that kind of pressure sparring with me. I understand. I'll get through all that gloom somehow. Welcome, Lord Charon. Just checking up on you. to Kronos. Nice try. The tactician brings ill tidings with an optimistic bend. Fine. And what news from the men of the Isles, if any yet survive? According to my confidants, they've all sworn in with Kronos, I'm afraid. Mortals, they often want whatever they don't have. Another golden age in this case. The promise of one. Tis a lie that spares their betrayal rather than a promise. They shall perish then by the wrath of the gods. And then their wretched souls shall hound us with renewed vengefulness. I've witnessed endless wars before, madam. So have you gods. How can we stop this? We cannot. Malinui, however. Certainly you can, correct? I can and shall. It must be an incantation that can help. Vengeance for my father. Moonlight guides you. to my light. You suppress that fate wrought curse that binds you to your realm. I was uncertain such a thing was possible. Yet you surprise me fairly often, little star. Which suits you? Total eclipse. Entrances into the underworld exist, and one of them is through the Acheron, whose accursed waters bear the weight of all the woes of mortal kind. If our foes can use this as an exit, so can I. upon this mountaintop, but Zeus sent several of his children to take care of things down closer to the base. They're probably just fine. It's 
strength of the sea. Gap in the wall. Afira's main square. is sealed shut by a phantasmal force that neither mortal nor immortal strength can budge. It's drawing strength from shades. Should try an incantation back home. do anything with this right now. Tombstone. Shades are trapped within that pylon there. Shades, you're free. Should head to the main square. Hmm. <laughs> Part of the barrier is down. Must have been that pylon I destroyed. So what? Five more to go.
this, didn't you, Sunshine? I thought your birthright meant you couldn't live up here. You were just full of surprises. So, headed this way? Let me help. the strength. Barry has lost some of its strength.
once more. Again, our journeys intertwine. Why did you call upon me, Princess? Did you not receive the artifact I brought you from the Fates? Lord Moros, I did receive the Fated List, and summoned you once more as it ordained. All children of Nyx are welcome where I reside. Might we speak further there? I have many questions. I don't know whether I can answer them, as my own search for truth has not been going well of late. But I'll not decline your cordial invitation. Please lead the way. Then follow me. I shall. Oh, where did he go? Happen to see a tall, horned fellow passing through? One of these nights, you want to ask Headmistress how she got this from the house. How's it going? You've been staring at that picture more and more. Happy family. Well, it's starting to get to me because I think it's starting to get to you. Don't get all misty on me, Mel. Thank you, Dora. Though you needn't worry. I won't get lost in memories because there isn't much for me to remember. I just wonder what my brother and my birth parents were like. Uh-huh. Sounds awful lot like dwelling on the past to me. Nothing you could have done. Hey, you could be doing nothing right now. I'll give it some thought. Or don't. A brief word? The widely hated, feared embodiment of doom goes wherever the ever-weaving fates decide, and none but they can anticipate his arrival. He sure knows how to make an entrance. Princess? Moon dust now in stock. Take care then. Princess, we've not met formally. I'm the official bearer of bad news. The Witch of the Crossroads apprised me of the situation here, and was gracious to invite me to stay for now. You're welcome here and safe, Lord Moros. So then you know of my task. To vanquish the usurper of the House of Hades seems more than a task. I regret this burden is yours to bear, and much sooner than expected. It's all right. I was born for this. Another prophecy. Lord Moros has arrived. Now what? So mote it be. Oski on Katoski. It is done. Moonlight guide us. We'll find our way. So Doom has come to stay with us a bit. Our last and only other brush with him did not resolve particularly well, so 
I'll just keep my distance if that's quite all right. All children of Nyx are welcome in these crossroads. Though I think Lord Moros wishes to keep his distance too. No objections here. Lord Moros, as our honored guest, um, we wanted you to have this, to make your stay a bit more comfortable. The Nectar of the Gods. Thank you, Princess. I've not received an offering before, though I do like to come prepared. So here, from me to you. How thoughtful. I accept. Peace, Lord Moros. To victory. Nightshade. The ashes remember. Something new there. This then. Zorafat. Everybody at attention. Approach. May Moonlight guide you. Your recent travels to the surface. How were you able to survive up there? You were away for longer than I would have expected. My surface breathing incantation made a difference after all, Headmistress. I still felt the oppressive atmosphere up there, weighing down on me, but not crushing me quite like before. Magic born of your resolve. I'm impressed. Then not entirely surprised. May your craft thus protect you ere Olympus is secure. Indeed. What now? Never thought I'd see Moros here of all places. But then again, it only makes sense Doom would come to the crossroads sooner or later. You make it sound like it's a bad thing. All Nyx's kin are welcome here. Headmistress gave her word. Whatever. Guess I better go say hello.